You're watching Cartel TV and I'm Jenny. Subscribe to the channel. So today I'm kicking it a little old school and we're checking out this hot hatch, the Toyota Corolla GR. Now this isn't your everyday run of the mill Corolla folks. This is the Corolla that had a wild night out and came back with a turbocharger, a snazzy body kit and a serious attitude. So being a small and zippy car, we thought we'd keep the review in the same style. So let's get into it. The GR Corolla stands out from its team of siblings like a punk rocker in a choir, with a fierce exterior that announces its presence with authority. But in saying that, this one actually hasn't had many looks. Usually when we have a review car from Cartel, we get lots of looks, stop to ask a lot of questions, but for some reason, I don't know, maybe it's black and it's camouflaged. Even though there are plenty of sporty design elements, like unique front and rear bumpers, a smattering of aggressive air ducts, a raised hood, and 18-inch alloy wheels. And lastly, three chunky exhausts at the back of the GR Corolla, really making it look as if it's dressed to impress. Which is a shame because not many people have noticed it. So I'm wondering, are there just not that many fanboys and girls of Corollas in the state? Or is it that it just doesn't quite stand out enough to turn heads? So even if people aren't noticing them yet, these design enhancements do have a role other than cosmetic. The air ducts help to cool the turbocharged engine, while the raised hood accommodates the top mount intercooler, making this Corolla the perfect combination of form and function. It comes in a choice of four colours, and despite Toyota's fancy names to describe them, they are white, grey, black or red. When it comes to performance, this GR Corolla is like a wild stallion that just broke free from the stable. Maybe a pony stallion. <laughs> Under the hood, you'll find a feisty 1.6-litre turbocharged three-cylinder engine, which may sound small, but don't let that fool you. This little dynamo churns out an impressive 221 kilowatts of power and 370 newton metres of torque, giving you acceleration that'll have you grinning when you're carving up the corners. All the power is sent to all four wheels, being an all-wheel drive, and this GR Corolla is only available as a six-speed manual. And if that's not enough, there's also the limited Marizo Edition, which takes performance of this GR to the next level. The Marizo Edition squeezes out an additional 30 newton meters of torque, and it's equipped with a unique final drive gear ratio for even faster acceleration. That, my friends, is the stuff that hot hatch dreams should be made of. But let's see how it translates on the road. The GR Corolla's handling is like a well choreographed ballet gracefully pirouetting through corners and maintaining its composure even when pushed to the limit. This is thanks to the GR4 all-wheel drive system, which keeps the car firmly planted on the road. Add to that the sport-tuned suspension, and you've got a car that's just begging to be taken for a spirited drive through winding country roads. One of my favorite features is the GR4 all-wheel drive system. It gives you the ability to tweak the front and rear torque according to your driving needs. Opt for a 60-40 ratio for smooth everyday cruising, Switch to 30-70 for nailing those twisty roads with exceptional linear response. Or go 50-50 for unbeatable traction when conquering the racetrack. One little thing I do want to mention here is the sounds it makes are a little underwhelming, especially when compared to something like the Hyundai i30N. Now there are no pop sauce splatters here, instead just a bit of a whooshing noise. Maybe Toyota are banking on buyers delving into aftermarket add-ons. So the interior of the GR sticks pretty close to the standard Corolla layout with some sporty elements. It's quite understated, but edgy, but playing it safe. You'll find aluminium pedals, a leather-wrapped steering wheel, and a 12.3-inch touchscreen display with Android Auto and wireless Apple CarPlay. So Toyota are calling this a GR-dedicated digital dash. And it's okay, like it does change in the drive modes, but I would have liked to see a little bit more hype, more color, just, you know, a bit more flair. Um, the infotainment screen is a lot smaller to the eye than I feel like it should be. I mean, it doesn't come all the way to the edge. Why not use up all the space? And also the features that I've had access to on our review are very limited. I'm not sure if it's because I'm not properly registered, but there's barely anything on this menu. So yeah, a bit underwhelmed. It can display engine and performance data and includes a G-Force monitor and engine boost meter. There are custom sports seats with leather accents that provide excellent support and comfort and feature GR badging. There's expected safety features carried over from the regular Corolla, like Toyota Safety Sense, including pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, lane departure alert, automatic high beams, and dynamic radar cruise control. 
but specific to this GR is a hand finished frame. Reinforced by hundreds of extra spot welds for increased body rigidity and enhanced stability and control. Additional body stiffness is achieved through underfloor and centre floor metal braces, coupled with high rigidity front suspension members, all combining to provide a thrilling race car driving experience while ensuring safety. The Corolla GR brings the fun while stepping up the safety game. It's like the regular Corolla went to the gym and bulked up on reinforced safety features. Drive-away pricing for this Corolla GR starts at $67,329, which does sting a bit, I have to say. There is a lot of performance capability jam-packed into this little Corolla GR, and that comes at a price, quite a price. And is that price justifiable? It's a very different offering to something like the i30N or VW's Golf GTI. So I would say this is a car designed for driving purists and be keen to put their own aftermarket customizations on it to really bring out the grr. But those purists would also need to have quite a high budget. So, I don't know, I guess a lot of you have strong opinions on this car. So, a $70,000 Corolla, I don't know how I feel about that. There's some awesome stuff going on, but ugh. Anyway, let's open a discussion in the comments. I look forward to reading them and seeing you in the next review. Thanks.